Do you want to record your Roblox gameplays without resulting in a lagging and freezing video? Today, we're gonna learn the best settings of OBS to record your Roblox gameplays on the best way possible. At first, I want to say that some things here on the settings I will not be able to change because I am already recording a video using OBS to show you guys how to do it, so I'll just explain it. To change the settings of your recording, go here at settings. First, we're gonna go here at video. We have a plenty of configuration right here. If you're not recording, you'll be able to interact with these options. Base resolution is the resolution of your monitor. On my case, is a notebook, that's why the low aspect resolution, but you have to set this to the maximum resolution of your monitor. And here at output resolution will be the resolution of your final video. Here you have a couple downscale features. You have to test it to see if any of the options will result on a better recording to your PC. On my case, this option attend me better. And here at this final option, you can change the FPS of your recording. Don't change this value and just change this value right here. So if your PC can hold 16, put it your videos will look best, mostly because it's a gameplay and games have a lot of quick informations. Now we'll go here at output and we're not going to configure this page, we're gonna go at recording. The first thing I'm gonna talk with you guys on this page is to change the video encoder. This really depends and have specific cases depending on your PC and your PC configuration. If you have a dedicated encoder like NVIDIA, on my case is an Intel, just change this video encoder option but test it. In some cases, it will not improve in anything at your recording. In that case, just set to the regular 264. Recording path is the location on your PC where your recordings are gonna go, you can change this right here and you can check this box to generate file name without space. And this is pretty interesting. On my case, I just want one audio track, but if you want a separated track to your voice and the game audio, here you have your audio mixer. But let's say you want to add the audio of the game too. To add it, I clicked here on add source and I'm going add audio output capture. Then you click it, then you go at OK, and that's it. Let's test it. You can see that this test audio of Windows is showing right here on the waveform of the audio. I'm gonna be quiet. You can see that your PC audio is recording too, but make sure you're using headphones because if you don't, the audio will be pretty noisy and won't be good. Now let's go back at settings, let's go back at output recording and here at recording format you have mkv by pedro using mkv if your obs crashes you still have your recording saved but use mkv files you will have to convert your recordings all the time here at encoder settings we got a few interesting options on my case i use cdr because i found it is the best but if you don't agree with it, you can see other tutorials that teach on how to use these different options right here. On this tutorial, I'm gonna teach the CBR, that is the option that I believe to be the best one. So basically, at bitrate option, the most bigger this number is, the most quality you have. So if your PC can hold it, just keep increasing the bitrate of your video and recording tests and see if your file is too big. If one minute of recording results on one gigabyte, maybe you're working with the bitrate a little bigger than it should be. Here we have the target usage. If you set, at example, to very fast, your PC will not be lagging at shirt while you're recording, but your video quality results will not be as good as it should. So, in my case, I like to use fast. Don't put this option at medium, slow or slower, it probably will blow up your PC. After we're done with all that, click on apply and click on ok. If you had more problems, please use the comment section below. If the video helped you even a little bit, please consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to our channel. And if you want to make a suggestion or a compliment, use the comment section too. Bye!